In this video, we're going to discuss the slotting operation. If you plan on following along, I'm working with part file 7.8. The slotting operation is again a 2D milling operation, so we're going to begin by selecting 2D milling. And from the drop down, select slot. We need to start by selecting our tool, so I'm going to select a library, and then use my 3 16 tool that's already been saved with this part. Now we can move on to the geometry tab where we define our slots. A slot could be straight, curved, or made up of a series of lines and arcs. To define the slot, simply select one edge of the contour on the bottom side of the slot. For demonstrational purposes, let's select all three of these slots. With our slotting geometry selected, let's just go ahead and select OK to generate the toolpath. Looking at the toolpath that's been generated, we can see that the slotting toolpath simply runs the tool along the center line of the slot. Regardless of how wide the slot is, the machined profile is only going to be the width of your cutting tool. So what would we do if our slot was slightly wider than the width of our cutting tool? Well, we could essentially use the slotting operation as a method of roughing the material away and then come back in with a contour to finish machine that slot. Let's go ahead and select 2D milling and 2D contour so that we can machine our slot. On the geometry tab, we can now select each of the contours for our slots. Remember, we want to make sure that arrow is on the inside of the slot, ensuring that our cutter is machining the inside of the slot. With our geometry selected, select OK. Now we've run into something that we haven't seen before. The toolpath has a little yellow check mark next to it. The yellow check mark indicates that a toolpath was able to be generated with the given geometry. However, it's not going to be run because it collides with the model. To find out what's wrong, right click the toolpath and select Show Log. Our error indicates that the lead-in parameters would cause a collision. Remember, the lead-in is where the tool arcs onto the contour. So if that arc was too big, we're going to be machining in to the back side of the slot. Let's go ahead and close out of our message and edit the contour so that we can make the appropriate corrections. Lead-in, lead-out is found on the linking tab. And for this instance, let's just go ahead and turn off lead in and lead out and regenerate our toolpath. Now the toolpath has been generated fine because we're no longer colliding with the back side of the slot. Well, that concludes our video on the slotting operation, and I hope you found it to be a help.